Hi there. You look like you're about to start playing Nelly Kutalot Spoon Beaks Ahoy HD for the first time. Thanks. I'm Alistair, I made the game, and I wanted to tell you that this game features a very cheap voiceover featuring me, real Nelly, and literally no one else. Think of it as a director's commentary where I do a series of questionable accents. In answer to your question, yes, this feature can be turned off, but for now, sit back, not that far back, relax, and try to enjoy Nelly Coutelot, Spoonbeaks Ahoy, HD! Yeah. Wake and Nelly Coutelot. Nelly? Sleepy time now. Nelly! Avast! Steal yourself before turning to behold the spectre of the dreaded Captain Bloodbeard. Ugh. Truly, many tides have come and gone since I danced the hemp and jig. So tis the fate of us all. So tis the fate of us all. But now, Captain Coutelot, I return from the depths of Davy Jones's. A brief reprise only to see ye. Me? Why? My time above the waves grows short, but I tell you this. In life, I was the scourge of the South Seas and champion of all creatures sweet and defenseless. That mantle I now pass on to ye. Really? What does that mean? Yonder island be a salty backwater called the Barony of Meath, once famed for a mighty fleet of saucy birds called Spoonbeaks. I love Spoonbeaks! For many days now, not a Spoonbeak has been seen on the Isle of Meath. What? They have vanished, every one, and that be a terrible omen of ill fortune. They must be found. Accept ye the quest? Aye, aye, Captain Bloodbeard. I'll conjure a ghostly current to carry ye to the shores of Meath. Unravel the mystery, Nelly, and save the Spoonpeaks. I give you these words. Look to the Baron. Farewell. Bye! Well, it's a good thing I'm wearing my adventuring corset. It's Nelly time. If I want to explore this island, I'll be needing a map. It is fun to stroke cactuses, but I'm on a mission. I can't take it. It's screwed to the wall. Fellow sea dog. <laughs> uh, what? I was laughing at the idea of you being a pirate. <laughs> That's laughing. That it be, little miss, not a pirate. I am a pirate just like you, except cleaner and prettier, less smelly, without that world weary glaze to me eyes. <laughs> you aren't nice. No, I'm a pirate. Shut up! I'm the fearsome pirate Nelly Coutelot. I'm so piratey I can... Drink a barrel of grog in one swig. I drink two before getting out of my hammock. Depressing. I'm so piratey I can... Be an octopus at arm wrestling. Well, let's arm wrestle right now. Uh, I think I left my ship's headlights on. I'm so piratey, I can... Splice a main brace in under 15 seconds. I can do it in 10. Curses. I'm so piratey, I can... Fart the alphabet. 
I don't even know the alphabet. That is pretty piracy. I'm so piracy I can whip up a delicious ship's stew. That sounds delightful. The secret is adding jasmine just before the boil. I'm so damn piracy I can... Oh, I don't need to impress you. I'd better haul anchor. Huh. Can I take this map? I don't know, miss. That map be steeped in nautical history and pirate lore. It don't belong in the hands of landlubber Grockle. It says a tourist's guide to the barony of Meath. Okay, take it. Now I can explore the island. I don't want to just tear it off the wall. Ahoy there. Welcome to the scurviest pirate bar in the South Seas. Captain Nelly Kootlot, at your service. May I be asking, what brings you to the Barony of Meath? I'm on a Spoonbeak rescue mission. Well, I sure hope you get lucky. Where could I find a Spoonbeak? Them goofy looking birds? Proud and noble creatures, yes. Used to be all over this island, they did. Haven't seen any recently, though. Who calls the shops around here? Well, I'm the proprietor. No, I mean, who's in charge of the island? Suppose that'd be Baron Widebeard. Baron Widebeard? Uh-huh. You'll know him if you see him. What drinks do you serve? We've a whole caboodle of buccaneer beverages. Blackbeard's rum. Peg leg, Texas medicine, Admiral Nosehair's old unsanitary, poop deck, and cat guts. Let me know if any of them interest you. Tell me about Blackbeard's rum. They used to make it from authentic Blackbeard. Nowadays it's mostly old rope and tar. Ugh. What's peg leg like? It has quite a kick. I have to keep it in isolation, else it rattles the other drinks off the shelf. What's Texas medicine? It's a powerful concoction. Not for the faint of heart. Or stomach. Tell me about Admiral Nosehair's old and sanitary. It tastes fine, but don't look too closely at the floaty bits. What's poop deck? Very popular with your young party pirate types. It's a girl's drink. Don't listen to him. Catguts better not be made out of cats. Whoa, Nelly. It got that name because of its feline and bravening qualities. What? It makes moggies tougher. Gives cats guts. Oh, okay. Never mind. I want a drink, but I don't want to spend any money. You're in a pickle. Hey, maybe Captain Rehab will offer to buy you a drink. Don't even joke about that, Friday. Time to set sail. Bye now. Avast. What? If you want to peruse the fabulous rogues gallery, there be a mandatory minimum donation of one dollar. Eh, this is like Soviet Russia. How? Well, there's a lot of vodka about. I can't take it. It's screwed to the wall. Something incomprehensible is scribbled on the wall. It's just crazy gibberish. Better haul anchor. <laughs> the Cutania doesn't sail in the traditional sense. I can't actually control where it goes, and right now I want to be here. The Cutania is tied to this thing. I don't want her to drift away.
and release Vin Diesel? Gentlemen, I would like to buy this eye hook. That is being marvelous. Seven hundred dollars, please. The wrist guard is being extra. Will you be paying in coin or bullion? About that. Will you accept an IOU? No, we are finding it unwise to trust pirate types. No offense, man. That's all right. I was trying to scam you. Will you accept bullion rather than bullion? You cannot be buying quality nautical supplies with a kind of thin broth, young lady. Curses. Can I trade you something for it? Possibly. We are trading in all kinds of nautical memorabilia. Bones, beard cuttings, pictures and clothes. But you would have to be swapping something pretty special to get an eye hook, though. Will you just please give it to me? Of course. On the condition that you are giving us seven hundred dollars first. Gah! A pox on trade. A pox on commerce. A pox on the Protestant work ethic that catalyzed the rise of capitalism, directly causing my current predicament. Never mind, I don't want it. It's just for show. There's no treasure in it. My life would be easier if I just sliced up everyone who got in my way. But I can't afford a sword. They're all a bit gory for my taste. It's a bit out of my price range. I don't have a cannon. I think the Cutania would overbalance with that thing on her. They've got an amazing range. The gaps are pretty big. It'd only work for sharks and stuff. I'd wipe the sultry pout off her face. If it wasn't for me old nemesis, the breakages must be paid for policy. Hello, aren't you pretty? He sounds angry. I'm afraid I kill pot plants. Of course, I, I walk before the water. I hate to be knocked down by a tugboat and have people find that book on me. Ahoy there, Baron. Hello, lass. Are you enjoying the reading? I. Yes, I've been told my prose is powerful yet soulful. Like Sean Bean. Exactly. What brings you to my barony? I... I expect you're just the first of my fans to arrive. Everyone wants a piece of the baron. Is there anything you want to ask, now you've finally met me? What do you know about spoonbeaks? There are no spoonbeaks in the barony of Meath. But... Good day, madam. So, you're promoting a book? That's right. Wide beard, behind the beard. The life story of me, Baron Ironfoot Whitebeard. How did you get a name like Ironfoot? I have iron feet. Your parents must have been interesting. <clears throat> I don't talk about my family. Surely you mention them in your autobiography? Of course not. The book's about me, not them. Well, what does it start with? <clears throat> Chapter 1. Kids I didn't like at nursery school. Whoa, I've heard enough. Ready to rush off and buy a copy so soon. I forget the power of my words. Isn't your biography getting awful reviews? Bah, those book critic hacks can't write. How come? I had their hands cut off. Bye-bye, Baron. But in the end, it turned out to be cauliflower. Ahoy! Hello, Flower. What are you looking for? I'm a bargain Christ shopper looking for discounts. We've a half off water damage stockings today only. What of spoonbeaks? I think we've a few plush spoonbeaks in the Goodly Toys section. 
No, I'm looking for the real thing. Well, this island used to be overrun with the things. They used to stroll in here, bold as anything, shedding feathers and upsetting the children. So noble. I've seen out of them for a while now. That's a bit odd, don't you reckon? Odd? I sell human brains in three colours. Ah. What do you sell? In the store of Babylon. Odds and ends, bric-a-brac. This and that? Exactly. Peanuts? Yes. Shoe horns? No. Piano keys? Yes. Dinosaurs? No. But there's a sale on poisonous lizards. Buy two, get the least poisonous half price. What's all this hoo-ha about Baron Whitebeard? Oh, the Baron's here doing a reading of his new book. He gets right involved in his reading. Is the book any good? An instant bestseller. Impressive. Uh, not really. Beardor banned me from selling any competition. All other books are over in the freebie basket. Toodaloo. Free books. I think I'll have this one. It's a book about birds. Nah, I don't want another book. The rest seem all to be about the different types of sand. None of them are tricornered. I ain't gonna put on civilian headgear. I was awarded several medals, but I already had most of them. The Cutania is already pretty full of soft toys. The wisest man in Athens once looked at a market stall and remarked, Look at all those things I don't need. I, on the other hand, am quite drawn to that glittery seashell. Imagine I don't have that. any pets. And if I did, I'd let them run wild and free. They're all pretty dusty. I'm not keen to put my mouth on any of them. No way. This stuff is rank. Nelly Kootalot travels light. Which is how I I've got seen that island scar. kids use the shrunken heads as stress balls. I'm not stressed, though. If I want a drink, I can go to the bar. A good ship stew has more than enough saturated fat for me. Nah, I've no truck with technology. Why bother? There's a jar of ink on the table. Creepy preserved body parts aren't really my thing. I prefer flaming torches. You can't lead a mob with an oil lamp. I haven't got a garden. Needless Nelly to say, doesn't buy I was the towels. Victim. I'll steal some if I ever stay in a hotel. They're all pretty dirty. I'm not. There's no one there. I don't think the stall is open yet. There she blows. Did you say something? No. I'm Nelly, the pirate. Who are you? I am the Baroness. My husband is the Baron. We own all that you can see here. At the moment, you pretty much fill my field of vision. Why are you here, freebooter? I'm on a spoonbeak rescue mission. Well, you'll have no hope of that. There are no spoonbeaks in the barony of Meath. But I heard there used to be. No, I don't think so. What are you doing here? I'm a fabulously wealthy aristocrat. What do you think I'm doing? Making charitable visits to local invalids? No, you dimwit. I'm shopping. What are you shopping for? I'm shopping for the latest fashions. Or I would be, if this damn store hadn't closed. I hate to think that this outfit might be out of style. No, it looks great. Maybe. At least standing next to you will make me look better. As a pirate, I imagine you're happy wandering around like a ragged dishcloth. As Baroness, I have a responsibility to look stylish. Check you out. What do you know about spoonbeaks? What are they? Some kind of boat shoe? No, they're birds. Big old birds. Big old mysteriously vanished birds. Oh. Never heard of them, sorry. Really? They used to live on this island. Young lady, I am a baroness. I have no time for bird spotting. Avast behind. What was that? Nothing. 
I think a gopher sneezed. I've seen a lot of booty in my time. Do stop muttering, girl. Well, I'm gnashing. Oh, how horrible. No, I mean I'm going. Oh, how marvellous. Hurry now. They're all moth-eaten and threadbare. Also windswept and weather-worn. I think they'd crumble if I even touched them. It's covered in notices. Lost peg leg answers to Stumpy. Last seen in the gents at the barnacle. I guess that's all island. I cannot move it. Ahoy, matey. Well, hello, sweetheart. What can blind Jimmy Thimble do for you? Are you a musician? Oh, nothing so grand. I'm just a fellow with a banjo. I'm man the toll booth here. Have you seen any spoon beaks lately? I ain't seen nothing lately. Yeah, it's a funny thing, though. Yes? I work here all night and all day. From time to time, I hear bird squawks drifting over from yonder island. Really? From Seoul Island? That's right, honey. Hmm. Will you let me past? Great not. I'd love to help you, gal, but I can't let you through without a gate pass. How can I get a gate pass? Truth be told, Baron Whitebeard is the only soul in me who has a pass. One time, the tourist was going across all the time, looking at the funny little men over there. Then, about a month ago, the Baron withdrew all the gate passes. Ain't that a thing? Why would the Baron be interested in the island? I can't say. People used to say a great treasure was hidden somewhere on the island. Perhaps he's looking for it. What's that about funny little men? Yeah, I never seen them. Tourists used to love going to see those little guys. Then a leper colony sprung up and the tourists stopped coming. A leper colony? Yeah, the Baron used it as a reason to take back all the gate passes. And there was another thing. What? I only know what I heard. There's a magic man on Saul Island. A magic man? I hear he works enchantments near old Saul Mine. So the Baron has the only gate pass. Sorry, honey. Please, will you let me pass then? I can't do it. I need my job. Well, if I got Baron Whitebeard's pass, then would you open the gate? I guess so, but I don't know if it's safe over there. Don't worry, Mr. Thimble. Nothing frightens Nelly Cootalot. Bye, Jimmy. Come back soon, honey. Excuse me? What's in the box? Them? They're my desert island discs, mostly. Blues, a few sea shanties, and some heavy rock. What kind of heavy rock? Granite, I think, but I ain't a geologist. Could I take your heavy rock? Do you really want it? A bit. It's a box of Jimmy's records. I got iron. I got all pig iron. I can't take it. It's screwed to the wall. I don't want to donate that. Avast! What? If you want to peruse the fabulous rogues gallery, there be a mandatory minimum donation of one dolder. Eh, this is like Soviet Russia. How? Well, there's a lot of vodka about. Last. What? It eh? How? Well... How to talk to birds. Sounds like a 70s chat-up manual. It's pretty hefty.
I hear you have the Soul Island Gate Pass. Yes. You don't feel like lending it to me? The island's a, a very dangerous place, Carol. You'll stay away from Soul Island if you know what's good for you. But... That gate pass is locked safely in Whitebeard Tower, so forget it. <laughs> Where is your tower, by the way? I won't be helping you steal from me, lassie. Baron Whitebeard is no pool. You mean, no fool? Go away! Bye-bye, Baron. Toodaloo. I wonder where a fashionable baroness would reside. Ugh, Wide Beard Tower is a dreary, grim little thing. All grey stone and battlements. If we hadn't redecorated, I think I should have gone mad. Interesting. I honestly think I'm the first individual with taste who's lived there. Fascinating. And where is Widebeard Tower? Oh, it's on top of that little hill in the middle of the barony. Excellent. Well, I'm gnashing. Oh, no. Oh, hurry. I could try and push them down, but today I feel constructive. J. M. Franklin. It has a skull carved on it. World record attempt. This afternoon, Angelo Lightfoot will circumnavigate the globe. It says it's organised by the Baronies Dignified Ladies Association. And after, there's going to be a tombola. Damn, I can't get it open. Miwi, shields are for cowards. I don't think those things will work together. The stairs are roped off. This board says it'll be open this afternoon. I'd need a good reason to become a grave robber. Well, a reasonable reason at least. I don't think those things will work together. I think it's nice where it is. I don't think those things will work together. Widebeard Tower is the family home of the island's baron. It once housed the finest library in the South Seas. Recently, Widebeard Tower has been modified in accordance with the vision of the baroness. It now sports a sauna and a spacious roof patio. Bye bye, Baron. And the Commodore told me. I still have two legs. Alreet Maris, Captain Nelly Coutelot, at your service. Pleased to be meeting you. Welcome to Bjorn and Olaf's, the one-stopping shop for all your nautical needs. Our motto is being, you can't be a pirate without B.O. Catchy. Who is Bjorn and who is Olafsson? He is Bjorn, and I am being Olafsson. 
you fellas seen any spoon beaks? No, but we are seldom leaving the shop. So you don't know anything about what's happened to them? I am being very sorry. Tell me about the Baron. Don't be mentioning that man in here, please. He is driving away our customers with anti-pirate laws and beatings. However... Yes? Well, we were hearing a rumor. Yes? The word is being that the Baron has a shady operation going. Oh, yes. On Sour Island. Yeah. What's new in stock? Oh, so many things. Powder monkey grooming kits. Main brace splicers. Nautical memorabilia. Brass monkey warmers. The eye hook. Half price swashbuckles. A range of pirate DVDs. And new punished deck swap. Wow. Tell me about... Powder monkey grooming kits. When powder monkeys are loading cannons, they are not always thinking of their appearance. Aren't you hating it when they are being covered in ash and all scorched? Yes, I am. We are having the solution. Our grooming kits will soon have those scrawny lummoxes looking ship and in the fashion of Bristol. Main brace splices. Say goodbye to lower back strain with our portable main brace splicer. Buy one today and receive a hatch and downer absolutely free. How can you resist it? Nautical memorabilia. Oh, what a fine range of nautical memorabilia and piratical relics we are having. The eye patch of Rudy Metalworth. The pistols of Susie Fireboots. The coat of William Bloodbeard. The teeth of Barney No Teeth. Plus many signed pictures of famous buccaneers. Impressive. Brass monkey warmers. If your brass monkeys are being chilly, try our woolen warmers. They're cozy warm. The eye hook. Oh, the eye hook. A pirate's dream. I've heard some guys cut their hands off just to get one. And not without good cause. A revolution in design it is being, my dear. A lightweight carbon fiber frame with a robust wrist guard. The wrist guard is costing extra. And the best feature is being the magnetic steel tip. Magnetic? No more will one-handed pirates be struggling to collect an array of spilled paper clips. Or to arrange iron filings into the shape of a comical hairstyle. How much is it? Seven hundred dollars. Oh, expenny. Half price swashbuckles. Damaged and improperly buckled swashes are being the biggest cause of death on the high seas. Beating scurvy and plank walking hands down. Really? Yeah, replacing swashbuckles regularly is being the only solution. Try not be taking advantage of our half-price offer. Pirate DVDs. We are having a barrel full of bootleg blockbusters. Just in today, Carrots of the Pirate Bean. Following the antics of Will Turnip and Jack Asparagus across the Pie Seas. Nah, I don't like documentaries. Punish Deck Swab. Are you wanting your deck clean enough to eat off? That would save on plate money. Then punish is being the product for you, young lady. Tell me more about Bloodbeard's coot. Most pirates are having parrots, but Bloodbeard was being a private man. He was keeping a coot because coots do not talk. After he died, we acquired the bird. But it has kept every one of Bloodbeard's secrets. I've heard enough. Ta-ra now. Goodbye from me. Goodbye from him. Hello, aren't you pretty? I don't think those things will work together. That ain't useful here.
I don't think those things will work together. I don't think I can use that there. I cannot use that here. It looks like this fashion boutique has been shut down. And then I, I said... I can't use that here. I don't think I can use that there. I can't reach it. That's a bit too suicidal for me. That's a bit too suicidal for me. I was awarded several medals, but I already had most of them. I don't want to give away that. I don't want to give away that. Imagine that. Nelly doesn't bite. I'll steal some. The Store of Babylon. That lucky old son. I can see in through that window. Mm. This is as far in as I can get. My crinoline's too wide for the window. Yeesh. This place makes my eyes ache. This art looks expensive. It looks like a print of Baron Widebeard. I hate pop art. I can't reach in there. That safe must be where the Baron keeps the gate pass to Saul Island. It looks like a Lockhart Oren. They're notoriously difficult to crack. I'll never get it open. I need the help of a more experienced thief. I don't want a price tag for an ugly column. Even if I wanted it, I couldn't reach it. That ain't useful here. I cannot use that here. It's heavily fortified. There's no way I can get inside. That ain't useful here. I cannot use that here. I don't think those things will work together. It's a box of Jimmy's records. I'll go out with a matchbox for my change. see any crows. Either that's Riggin or this island has huge spiders. I hope Riggin. I've heard of this place. It used to be popular back in the heyday of piracy. It says pirates only. Someone has scrawled lusty wenches admitted underneath. I think it might fall down if I touched it. I don't want anything from the shelves. Oh, look, 
an indigo tankard. I don't think those things will work together. I wonder if that's the famous Da Vinci cod. I don't think I can use that there. It's off a galley. Can you teach me the art of theft? I could be teaching the art of theft, but not to you. Why not? You ain't a pirate. Am so? Booty, scurvy, wenches, arr. You be talking the talk. Where's your pirate guild tattoo? My what? And let's have you recite the pirate's oath. Ah, you be no pirate. What's the pirate's oath? The oath engraved on the soul of every buccaneer. Oh, that pirate's oath. Of course I know the pirate's oath. Well then, recite it, girlie. I know it, but I can't tell you. No, I know it, and I won't tell you. What's that about the guild tattoo? The ink that every pirate bears. What does it look like again? Like a butterfly fluttering past a unicorn. I have a tattoo just like that. Ah, you were lying. Will you teach me if I prove I'm a pirate? Aye, I'd give you the secret that makes a great thief. But you're no pirate. You don't have the guild mark, and you don't know the oath. I'd better haul anchor. Huh. Do you know the pirate's oath? Hmm. Yeah, some old seafarer scratched it under the wall of the barnacle. Brilliant. Bad news is, it's in some buccaneer's code. What? Yeah, pyroglyphics, they call it. Can you read pyroglyphics? No one can. The cipher's been lost for years now. Damn. Mind your language. There be ladies present. Sorry. Have you seen the Pirate Guild tattoo? Oh, sure. What does it look like? Well, a lot of pirate tattoos are pretty ropey. But the Guild tattoo doesn't go overboard. There's no eyesore, nothing over the top. It's not dynamite, but it represents the black heart of every illiterate buccaneer. Can't you be more specific? No, that was perfectly clear. Time to set sail. Bye now. I'll take this tattoo of a heart. Can you read pyroglyphics? <laughs> pyroglyphics were just made up to entertain tourists. A real pirate would know that. I think you're just saying that. Maybe I am. A real pirate would be able to tell for sure. Hmph. I'd better haul anchor. Huh. Have you seen the Pirate Guild tattoo? Ah, sure. What does it look like? Well, a lot of pirate tattoos are pretty ropey. But the Guild tattoo doesn't go overboard. There's no eyesore, nothing over the top. It's not dynamite, but it represents the black heart of every illiterate buccaneer. Can't you be more specific? No, that was perfectly clear. Time to set sail. Bye now. The barman think. See, a girl too. It's coded in pyroglyphics. I can't make stern nor aft of it.
Toodaloo. Where is your tower? I w ba you mean? Go. Bye bye, Baron. Nah, I don't want another book. The rest seem all to be about the different types of sand. have this one. I'll have this tattoo of a coin. Hmm. I'll take this bird tattoo. Do you have the Pirate's Guild tattoo? Sorry, I am not knowing what it looks like. Perhaps it is being on our rack of free trial Rabon tattoos. Oh, thanks. Can you tell me the pirate's oath? I am afraid not. We are knowing the Nautical Shopkeeper's Guild oath. The no refunds verse is being my favorite. Do you know pyroglyphics? Oh, no. The secret to pyroglyphics was lost when Bloodbeard died. Oh, thanks anyway. Now. Goodbye from me. Good. Hmm. I'll take this tattoo of a heart. Hello, aren't you? He sounds angry. Use that here. I wonder if this is the Pirate's Guild tattoo. Well, oh, no, oh, hurry. Hi, Jimmy. Come back soon, honey. to be sure this is the right tattoo before I show it to him. Hey, is this the Pirate's Guild tattoo? I don't reckon so. this skull and crossbones tattoo. Hey, is this the Pirate's Guild tattoo? Oh yeah, that's it. Nice, ain't it? I have some news for you, Captain. I have the Pirate Guild tattoo. Hmm, so you do. But a tattoo means nothing if you can't say the Pirate's Oath. I'd better haul anchor. Huh. Time to set sail. Bye now.
I don't want to just... I don't want anything. It says, Pirates Only. Someone has scrolled, this. The barman thinks they see it's coded in pirate li J. M. Franklin. It has a skull carved on it. I'd need a good reason to become a grave robber. Well, a reasonable reason at least. That wouldn't look good on the grave. The stairs are roped off. This board says it'll be open this afternoon. Why'd be a it won recently? What it now sp That ain't useful here. How to talk to birds. Sounds like a 70s chat up manual. This is the Pirate's Guild tattoo. Bye, Jimmy. Come back soon, honey. I don't think those things will work together. I cannot use that here. I got seashells in my pillow. Find where it is. But it says defacing this poster is an offence punishable by transmutation. Also, it's too high. I can see all kinds of piratey kit inside. Bjorn and Olafsson, Nautical and Piracy Supplies, established 1735. I don't think it works. Duck. I don't think those things will work together. I don't think I can use that there. I cannot use that here. That's a bit too suicidal for me. And we all got home in time for oatmeal. Toodaloo. And then I said... Bye bye, Baron. Though he died shortly after. Are you looking to get my signature, dear? Uh, no. Curses. He noticed me trying to swipe it. It 
does look like it would make a good swing. An I don't think I can use that triumph. one. Needless to say, I was the victor. I cannot use that here. I don't think those things will work together. An unmatched triumph. I cannot use that here. I don't want to give away that. Sheer, bare-faced daring. That ain't useful here. I don't think I can use that there. Cannot use that here. And then I said, Excuse me, I'm reading. Excuse me, I'm reading. So there I was. Let's give this a try. <clears throat> Hello, bird. Can you understand me? Just barely. Your accent is thicker than the slops of the barnacle. Oh, sorry. I suppose you're another vulture looking for the treasure of Captain Bloodbeard. Well, I'm not going to tell you where it is. I'm not a vulture. You treasure hunters never understand. Booty wasn't important to William Bloodbeard. He was a beautiful man. I don't know. He had a seaweedy kind of look to him this morning. What? You've seen Bloodbeard? Yeah, he sent me here. To investigate missing spoonbeaks? Yes, exactly. My apologies. Sebastian J. Coote, at your service, Miss Cootelot. How do you know my name? Before he danced the hempen jig. So tis the fate of us all. Bloodbeard told me of the one that would take his place. This is your destiny. If I fulfill my destiny, will I be rewarded in the afterlife? Uh, no. Is there a prophecy? Not exactly. A curse? No. Is there any reward? Yes, there's a special hat. Really? No. Tell me about Bloodbeard. Our escapades took us from the lofty peaks of Cuddly Squirrel Island to the fearsome waves of Baby Goose Bay. He was a scoundrel, a cutthroat. A bearded buccaneer, but honourable. Like me, except the beard. You must have had amazing adventures. Don't you doubt it. One time, Bloodbeard and I were locked in a cabin by a dastardly villain. But we escaped by sliding a newspaper under the door and pushing the key out of the lock with a pencil. That doesn't sound particularly amazing. No, it wasn't, actually. Thinking about it, we used the newspaper pencil escape in almost all our adventures. I can't think why. Do you know the pirate's oath? Sorry, dear, I'm not a pirate. I know the pirate familiar's oath, but that's mainly about not crapping in cabins. Ah. I imagine the other one is basically the same. Sorry. Have you heard of pyroglyphics? Of course. Pyroglyphics are Bloodbeard's legacy, dear. You can read them? No, I'm afraid. Birds can't read at all. Really? Yes, but don't tell anyone in my book group. Can you remember anything about pyroglyphics? Anything that might be useful? Well, perhaps, but... Yes? Bloodbeard used to say that a pirate called John Morton Franklin held the key to his code. Then I must find John Morton Franklin. That's the thing. There is no such pirate. It's just the name Bloodbeard used when checking into hotels. I remember he said that old John would take the secret of pyroglyphics to his grave. Weird. Bye. Come back soon. Okay, let's see what secret John Morton Franklin took to his grave. A book. This 
is just a regular pirate phrasebook. Wait, there's something scribbled inside the cover. Quick, gold, silver and sea be the prize. This guy spells bad even for a pirate. Maybe now I can crack the pyroglyphic code. I don't think that's it.
Maybe now I can crack the pyroglyphic code.
I don't think that's it. I don't think that's it. Aha! I've cracked it! I can't wait to tell it to Captain Rehab.
I know the pirate's oath. Well then. <clears throat> I swear by the graves neath the foam of the waves, oh, I am a pirate so true. And I swear by me ships and the cat o' nine whips, I'll do what a pirate must do. And I say by the sky and me only good eye, I seek out me treasure so fair. And I'll say to the breeze and the seven high seas that I won't trim my bodily hair. Ahoy! Yeah, you be a true pirate. Told you. I knew it all along, me hearty. This be for ye. A kitty! That be a cat burglar. He once emptied the hold of an admiral's ship single-handed. If you've got a heist planned, he's the cat for you. Wow, thanks. You know, you're all right. Your next drink's on me. Cheers. Captain Rehab offered to buy me a drink. Nah, really? That I did, that I did. That's great. First, I need to see some valid pirate ID. What about this tattoo? Yeah, that'll do. Do you want me to sing the oath, too? Normally that happens after the drinking. What are you having? Blackbeard's Rum. Here. Much obliged, matey. It's crime time. In you go, cat burglar. Come on then, kitty. Fetch me that gate pass. What are you waiting for? Stop watching that fish and open the safe. I ain't throwing that in the fish tank. I ain't throwing that in the fish tank. Nelly Kudlock don't throw rocks at cats. Besides, he's so preoccupied, I'm not sure he'd notice. I cannot use that here. That ain't useful here. The stairs are roped off. This board's... Bye. Come back soon. Toronto. Goodbye from me. Goodbye from him. The gaps are pretty big. Bye. Come back soon. Excuse me, I'm reading. I don't want to give away that. I don't want to show her that. And then I said... Can you understand the mysterious message written in this phrase book? Hmm, my cousin writes like that. Is he a cryptographer? No, he's from Newcastle. Of course, I woke before the water reached the dresser. I've no interest in that, lassie. I don't think that's right. Are you looking to get my signature, dear? Uh, no. Curses! He noticed me trying to swipe it. Damn it, those things won't work together. And the Commodore told me. I don't think those things will work together. I don't want to give away that. 
Well, uh, no. Uh, hurry now. I don't feel like showing Jimmy that. Bye, Jimmy. Come back soon, honey. Ahoy there, me hearty. Ahoy there, me hearty. Time to set sail. Bye now. Avast. What? If you there. Eh? How? Well. I don't want to donate that. I cannot use that here. I cannot use that here. I don't think those things will work together. Oh, look, an indigo tankard. I don't think those things will work together. I don't think those things will work together. I can't see any crows. There's nothing useful left in the grave. I don't think I can use that there. I think it's nice where it is. I could try and push them down, but today I feel constructive. Damn, I can't get it open. I ain't throwing that in the fish tank. I could lob that at him, but I doubt it'd distract him. I ain't throwing that in the fish tank. Nelly Kootlock, don't throw. Besides, he's so preoccupied, I'm not sure he'd notice. ain't useful here. I don't think I can use that there. I don't think those things will work together. That ain't useful here. I don't want a price tag for an ugly column. I don't think those things will work together. to work, you fuzzy slacker. I'd love to tell but it says, also, it's too high.
already have the Pirate Guild tattoo. I'd wipe the sultry pout off her face. If it wasn't for me old nemesis, the breakages must be paid for policy. It's just for show. There's no treasure in it. Gentlemen, I would... That is be the rest. Will you be paying in... About... Never mind. I don't want it. Now. Goodbye from me. Goodbye from him. I cannot use that here. I cannot use that here. I don't think I can use that there. I cannot use that here. I cannot use that here. I don't want to show them that. I don't want to show them that. I don't think I can use that there. I don't want to show that to the Baron. Cannot use that here. That ain't useful here. Which is how I got that scar. Bye bye, Baron. Toodaloo. Nah, I don't want another book. The rest seem all to be about the different types of sand. I can't reach it. But in the end, it turned out to be cauliflower. I don't think those things will work together. Damn it, those things won't work together. I cannot use those things with each other. I cannot use that. They're all moth-eaten and threadbare, also windswept and weather-worn. I think they'd crumble if I even touched them. Meet Baron Widebeard. Visit the store of Babylon today. That ain't useful here. I don't think I can use that there. ain't useful here. I cannot use that here.
I wonder if that's the famous Da Vinci cod. I don't think those things will work together. I cannot use that here. I've changed my mind about this drink. I think I might swap it for another. If you want, just give me the bottle back. As long as you didn't spit in it. Time to set sail. Bye now. Get away from me, lass. Get away from me, lass. Hi, can I swap this for a different drink? Aye, oh, I suppose. Give it here. What'll it be then? Cat guts. Coming right up. Oh, there's a kitty on the bottle. If he was any braver, he'd probably dive in and eat the fish. I can't take that risk. Also, I don't feel like carrying a wet cat around for the rest of the day. That ain't useful here. I ain't throwing that in the fish tank. I can't mix rum with that. Hi, can I swap this for a different drink? Aye, I suppose. Give it here. What'll it be then? Boop deck. Here you go. Thanks. I could lob that at him, but I doubt it'd distract him. I ain't throwing that in the fish tank. I don't think those things will work together. Hi. Hi. Give it. What'll it be then? Admiral Nose Hair's old and sanitary. Give it a try. Ooh. I could lob that at him. 
but I doubt it'd distract him. I ain't throwing that in the fish tank. Hi, can I swap? Ah, oh, give it. What'll it be? Texas medicine. Yeah, this will perk you up. Thanks. I could lob that at him, but I doubt it'd distract him. I ain't throwing that in the fish tank. I don't think I can use that there. What drinks? We've a whole black beard, pig leg, ticks, and poop. Hey, let me know. Cat guts better. Whoa, now it got that name because of its feline and bravening qualities. What? It makes moggies tougher, gives cats guts. Oh, okay. Tell me. They used to make. Nowadays, it's mostly old rope and tar. Ugh. What's Peggy? It has quite a kick. I have to keep it in isolation, else it rattles the other drinks off the shelf. What's Texas medicine? It's a powerful concoction. Not for the faint of heart. Or stomach. Tell me about Admiral- It tastes fine, but don't- What's p- Very popular with your young party pirate. It's a girl's drink. Don't listen to him. Never mind. Time to- Bye now. Hi, can I- Ah, give it- What'll it be then? Peg leg. Coming up. Thank you, my good man. About in the how? Well, I could lob that up, but I don't. I ain't throwing that. I cannot use that here. I cannot use that here. I don't think that's right. Excuse me, I'm reading. Thankfully, I was wearing waders. I don't know out about that. Lightning reflexes and a little that. luck. But in the end, it turned out to be cauliflower. I cannot use that here. I don't think I can use that there. It does look like it would make a good swing. Which is how I got that scar. And we all got home in time for oatmeal. I don't feel like showing the Baroness that. What do you think of this? I wouldn't know anything about that sort of thing. I'm afraid I can't tell you anything about that. Can you tell me anything about this? I'm afraid not. I can just talk to him normally now.
all I found in that stinking grave was this pirate phrase book. You told me you would have the secret of pyroglyphics. Isn't there any kind of message? Yeah, it says, quick, gold, silver, and C be the prize. And it's signed, JMF, with a kiss. But the spelling is really bad. If William wrote a message with odd spelling, he did it on purpose. He spearheaded the Buccaneer Literacy Program. And once, he actually got a quick brown fox to jump over a lazy dog. This is just a regular pirate phrasebook. Wait, this... Quick, this guy spelled... I don't feel like showing that to them. <laughs>